welcome to this uh, the second to last penultimate uh, synchronous session for this facilitating online and blended learning. Uh, really, this meeting is to check out where you guys are to troubleshoot any problems. Uh, we've only got a very small team here today. So, um, and this team doesn't seem to think there are any specific problems. So let me just outline a few bits and pieces administratively, which I will then put in the recording and post on the WhatsApp. So first of all, please note that we have one more synchronous session after this one where you can troubleshoot and load uh, ask for specific queries and questions that's on thursday and then i would like everything to be wrapped up in terms of all the submissions and everything uh, uh by the end of friday so if we have a look at the course let me share my screen so that you can see it i'm going to share the screen all right so um if we have a look at the progress of the group, um, there are certain people who are wonderful and proceeding very nicely, and there are others which are a bit concerning. So you, I come down and I view my course report. So here I can see um, the adults, how the team is doing. So uh, for example, I can see that uh, Nerwin, who's here today in the meeting, is going very nicely. Okay, so well done, Nerwin. Uh, I can see that you've hit all the various activities. You've had a little go at the forums. You've had a little go at the quizzes. You've had a shot at the little certificate. And uh, so that's looking good. You've only got two more little pieces to go, and then you'll have completed the course. All right. Uh, we can see also that Mercy's underway. We can see Paul Peter is underway. Um, Eugene is a bit spotty. He did contact me and ask me, why is he not getting ticks for various things? Um, so we'll have to investigate what's going on there. Obed uh, made some progress. Anne is doing very nicely as well. Okay, so Anne's doing good. Uh, Moses is doing great. Um, we've got Margaret doing very well. And Lillian, no, Salman uh, is doing very nicely as well. And finally, Hilden is got bits and pieces and he's also in the group today and he seems to be going nicely as well so we've got a core group of people who are re really uh, finding the time and taking the training very seriously but you can see we've got a lot of spots where there is no action so hopefully those people might see this recording and we can say please get up to speed by friday so let me just give you a big overview of what we've done and where we're going Keep in mind, of course, that um, this course is about how do you facilitate? How do you keep interest? And obviously, I'm a terrible facilitator because there's only anyone here. Um, right. But we can see then that, first of all, we said, what is facilitation? What are the roles and responsibilities? And we covered those items in the last synchronous meeting. So now we're looking at your first hat. And we said one of the things you have to do is facilitate the learning process. And there are a couple of little ideas here about how do you stimulate good debates? How do you summarize the forum discussions? And um, how would you evaluate forum discussions? Keep in mind that uh, forums allow you to provide marks if you want. So how would you do that in a meaningful and fair way? All right. Uh, and the little weekly quiz. All right, then we went on to the next thing, which was um, how do you nurture social relationships in your little online communities? Now, this is very important. Your role is to make sure that people are happy, that they feel comfortable, that they can go forward and work with the materials on the site. So you'll see then we, here we mentioned uh, how do you create an online presence? And you can see what I try to do. I try to engage you with a little activity in the WhatsApp group. I asked you to post things that you liked uh, that were personal so we could get to know each other. I put up a little video of me as, a, uh, 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 as the facilitator and the things I thought were important about the course and myself, et cetera. So I try to do it that way. Again, you could argue that that maybe was insufficient for this group. They seem to be totally <laughs> nonplussed, we'll say. All right. Um, so there was create an online presence, keep talking in the Moodle tools. So hopefully you looked at the little videos. It showed you how to use the 
uh, the messaging system, how to make announcements, uh, etc. Use social media. We, the WhatsApp group works quite well. We, in fact, we get most of our discussions there. So that's uh, try modeling what we're suggesting here. And then what to communicate. How professional do you need to be when you're communicating? But probably the best part of this whole section was on conflict resolution. So I'm, I'm going to just go in here very quickly. I'm hoping that you read through here, that you saw all this. Uh, it is a little long, but there is a beautiful section here. This little piece here, it shows you specifically how to respond to people who are causing trouble in your groups. Now, with me, my problem was that people just weren't here. But um, sometimes you'll find that there's quite a rocky social dynamic for these groups. So how do you respond if things start coming unstuck? And Rosenberg gives us a very nice step-by-step -step, um, approach of how to do it. So please have a look at that. There's a little video which tries to sum it up as well. All right. Um, then uh, the next thing we asked you to have a look at was um, how do you manage your course? How do you administer and manage your course? And we mentioned here that as the facilitator for a course, uh, some of this basic administration is yours. So you, you have to do it, all right? Perhaps an obvious one is you've got to make sure the right people are registered and enrolled in your course, all right? So there's a little video there how to check all that and to make uh, sure. So tracking student progress. You, uh, I started off the session by showing you one of those tracking tools. How do you set that up and make sure that you can track people uh, in your course? Um, how do you set up the grade system? So if you're going to use Moodle for your marks, all of your marks, then you want to say, oh, this one's worth this much and that one's worth that much. And you can actually set up your grade system in the Moodle process. So there were some documents on that. And then quite a lot of people now are beginning to automate the certification process. So if they have achieved certain a, uh, a level of proficiency, then they should get a certificate. And so I was trying to demonstrate here with Activity 4 how that works. At the moment, only one of you have got the certificate, according to the tracker. Um, so maybe on Thursday, we'll unpack that in a bit more detail uh, when more people are with us. And then there's the little quiz again. So that's quite a cool one. That's the managing the and administer your course. All right. The, uh, the last one was to provide some technical assistance. In the first week, there are so many technical issues because people are still unfamiliar with the platform. They forget their passwords, they have connectivity issues. And one of the basic things you might need to help them with is how do they upload assignments? If they don't can't upload assignments, then how are you gonna have evidence that they are developing and growing? So again, a little couple of little sections there. I think this is approximately where you should be by now. And there is still a few more sections, but um, I know you guys are, uh, as a group, are, are running a little bit behind. Um, so the, this one is very um, relevant for this COVID-19 era. All right. So we're doing a lot more of these synchronous meetings, Zoom, MS Teams, Collaborate, Big Blue Button. There's a Google... I've forgotten Google's one, what it's called, um, but there's plenty of them. So how do you run a good webinar? So um, if you have a look in here, we try to give you some tips. Um, we've pulled it from this book, which we particularly like. Uh, uh, there's um, a little forum, which no one has, uh, I, think, I think only one of you. I don't know. I know the, the conversation is in action. So please get in there and... Uh, have a say in there as well. The forum's moving along nicely. Uh, and then um, what are the 10 commandments? So what should you be doing to make it engaging and interesting? All right. So the whole idea is that you shouldn't lecture. So what I'm doing, for, what I have been doing for the last 10, 15 minutes, you should keep as little as possible. Really what you're trying to do is and get, encourage people to uh, troubleshoot and engage uh, uh, and interact socially. So that's what we did before we started the recording to try and get people to feel engaged. All right. Uh, and yeah, cool. All right. So that's the 
uh, last major piece. And then we've got a little evaluation for you to do. Uh, we've just checked it and coal for some reason have closed it. So we'll open it up for you, but we don't want you to do it too soon. So by Friday or by Thursday afternoon, it'll be ready for you guys to engage with. And that's the little course. It's pretty cool, pretty simple. Uh, and it does benefit from you doing practice and and so on. All right. So um, I'm not going to take up your time too much now. Um, but if there are any questions, please, can you uh, key your mics? There's so few of us. We can go straight to Mike. Uh, any further questions or queries based on what I've just presented? Cool. All right. Then I think that's enough. I, I, with the people who have been here, I've in, engaged with them. They uh, have told me what they think and what their expectations are. So that's, that's good. Uh, any of the people who are seeing this as a recording, please access me through the WhatsApp. It's still the best way. And I'll see if I can help. So please remember then we have one more synchronous session on Thursday at two o'clock Kenyan time. And then um, we will have one more day to finalize uh, all the bits and pieces before we start drawing reports and checking the evaluation. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, I think that's enough from me.